There's little Sri Lankans like more than relaxing and enjoying their native snack, appas or hoppers made from rice, flour and coconut milk. Savouring these bread-like pancakes would almost certainly be accompanied with talk of cricket. The sport is still by far the country's most popular game. However, in recent years, other sports have managed to raise their profile. Currently, boxing is taking centre stage. Has set a standard for future athletes in this country. It has proved that there is nothing you can't do. Where there is a will, there is a way. Although Anna Rudda has inspired a new generation of boxers in his homeland, there is still a lack of homegrown technical expertise in the country. It's this scarcity of trainers, coaches and managers that's hampering the nation's future success. Witanage Wasantha Kumara is one of the national coaches. In Sri Lanka there are only a few professional boxing coaches, unlike in other countries where they have many more instructors with good coaching credentials. Here there's not a single place where you can go to learn or study to become a coach. Sri Lanka is just not like that. Hopefully the current boxers will gain sufficient experience to later go on to become good coaches. It's a far cry from the experience of Rafael Ramirez, a Cuban coach drafted in by the Sri Lankan Amateur Boxing Association, the ABA, to assist with the preparation of fighters. In his homeland, coaches can study the noble art at university before embarking on a career in the fight game. Ramirez knows that he's starting from scratch in Sri Lanka. We're working first to improve the coordination of the boxers so we can then improve their technique. We do this with rudimentary boxing exercises like sparring rounds, coordination exercises. There's little state support for boxing, so the ABA has to rely on commercial companies to provide funding for the preparation of its teams and for training facilities. These companies also provide jobs for aspiring fighters. Anna Rudder works as a production executive for Slimline, a company that makes women's underwear for a large British retailer. As a company, we look at empowering youth, empowering women, and indeed empowering sports persons. So uh, we look at um, taking this as an opportunity to bring this young talent into the secure role of employment. If you take Anurudh Ratnayaka, for example, coming from uh, a background in candy, uh, what happens is these boxers, uh, after school, they would be forced to look for employment and uh, fend for themselves. And in doing so, they would most probably have to give up their sporting careers who has a great thirst for victory. From the beginning he's been very keen and dedicated and willing to work hard. I believe he's a very driven athlete. He wants to do as well as he can and he has a strong desire to succeed. The city of Panala, where Slimline is based, is fast becoming a hotbed for boxing enthusiasts. Employees.